Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to be looking at the sketch alignment modes for Align OZX, OXY, etc. These alignment modes can be a bit tricky to understand. So for instance, the Align OZX matches object's origin with first reference vertex, then aligns its normal and horizontal plane axis towards vertex slash along line. Now it's quite hard to picture in your head. When I'll show you the demonstration and a few tips of how to understand what's being said, then it becomes quite easy. We're going to be concentrating on two reference combinations, the vertex, 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 and the vertex, vertex. So three vertexes and a two vertex reference. These alignment modes allows you to progress with your skills in FreeCAD, allowing you to tackle more complex modeling. So I hope you're enjoying this channel and let's have a look at this technique. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the site. I also have a Ko-Fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire. And that's at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0. I also run a Patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content. And that's at www.patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Any money that's kindly donated will be used to span the channel. To understand these alignment modes, we're going to first create this sketch that you see on the screen. It consists of a base sketch for the attachment vertices, including the number alongside, and a basic sketch that shows the X and Y axis of the sketch itself. These are both sketched along the XY plane, and then we're going to be attaching this sketch to the different vertices, along with changing the map mode to get an understanding of how the align map modes work. Let's first create this sketch. So we've opened up FreeCAD, we started a new document, and we're in the sketcher. We're gonna sketch something very basic to help us demonstrate these attachment modes. To start with, I'm gonna create a new sketch. I'm gonna place it along the XY plane. All our sketches will be placed along the XY plane for this demonstration. At this point, it must be stressed that we're not looking at the global coordinate system. We're looking at the local coordinate systems of the sketch and the attachment. We're first going to sketch three points using the point, and these points will be the attachment points. So we've got vertex one, vertex two, and vertex three. For these to show up in the 3D view, we have to change these out of construction geometry. These are currently in construction mode. If I close this, we can see in the 3D view, nothing's available. Let's come back into our sketch and select all three of these points. Just by clicking on them, we don't have to control click and use the toggle construction geometry. Also available from Sketch, Sketch Geometries, Toggle Construction Geometry. The points will change to white. This means when we hit close, we can see the points in here. To make these points easier to select, I'm going to select the sketch and then come down to the View tab. On the View tab, we'll see the point size, which we can increase and increase it up to around about eight. This means I can select these much easier when I come to attach into these. Let's rename this sketch and I'm going to call this base sketch. Now we've got the base sketch. Let's make sure nothing's selected and now create another sketch along the XY plane and hit OK. The point of origin of our sketch is here and we're going to attach to this. This is important because our attachment mode has such attachments as OYX, where O is the origin of the sketch we're gonna attach or the origin of the object. So I'm gonna select the polyline and create two lines along the vertical and horizontal axis. The red axis is the X, so I'm gonna place a rudimentary X Again, using the polyline and pressing escape in between to create an X. I'm going to do the same with the green, which is the Y. So we have X, and Y. I'm going to use a circle for the middle, and this is going to be the origin. Because this is a 2D object, Z will be running this way which is also known as the normal. So normal to sketch is the Z axis. This is important when it comes to the line modes. 
Let's hit close. We now got our sketch sitting in the middle. Let's rename the sketch and call this sketch to attach. To add labels to these vertices, I'm going to be using the draft workbench. Let's come over to the draft workbench. And first thing we need to do is make sure we're looking down from the top and make sure nothing's selected because we're going to set the working plane. So come up to utilities and select plane and make sure we select top. Now we've selected the working plane, we can add a shape string. So shape from text. I'm going to click on that and click above the first vertex here. Now it's worth rolling over it and looking down to the left hand corner and we can see that's vertex one. So I'm going to click here and type in in the string one. We'll select a font and because I'm on Ubuntu, I need to select the user's share fonts, the true type, and we we'll select a font from there. So I am normally pick Deja Vu and select the Deja Vu Sans. This will differ if you're on Windows or Mac. This will be your font directory where you'll select the fonts from. Let's hit OK. So now I've got a one in here. Let's do the same for this vertex. Now if we look down to the left, we can see that's vertex free. So we're going to name this vertex free. I thought this one was vertex free, but this one's vertex free. So we're going to rename that as the same vertex. Otherwise we're going to get ourselves confused. Shape string. Free and select the font. We could copy these if we want. We've got vertex free. What I'm going to do is come up to edit and now duplicate selection. So we've got this shape string now, right click, transform, and we'll move it down to the upper vertex. Let's rename that to two. So now we've got all our vertices renamed. Final check to make sure we've got them right. And now we can demonstrate the attachment modes. We don't have to be in the draft to use the attachment modes. We can be in the sketcher. If you see gridding, we can turn them off with the gridding down here. So let's come over to the sketcher and look to see what we've got. We've got the vertices. We've got our sketch to attach. Click on the sketch to attach. Remember this point is the origin of the sketch. And now we're going to use the map mode. At the moment it's deactivated. Click on the button on the end. And we see that the button here is saying selecting. If it's not saying selecting and there's something in here, just highlight it and delete it. And the button will become available. Let's select vertex one. We see the translate origin the origin of the sketch or the origin of the object has moved to this vertex. So this is translate origin. It's just translate the origin. So let's see what happens when we add a second reference and we'll add vertex two. The sketch has been moved to be in inertia two three. So this is the current alignment mode because it's in bold. Let's pick ONX. We can see that's been transformed. And if I pick the one underneath, we can see nothing's really happening here. If we look at the sketch and the alignment, O is the origin. So you can see here it says match origin with first vertex. So we've got the first vertex here. So it's matched the origin of the sketch to that vertex. The next one is the N, which is normal, and that's normal to sketch. So that's the Z axis. So going in and out of the sketch, which is this way, is normal. And that normal is going to vertex two. But what happens with this X? Well, because we're only using two, this is discarded. We're only interested in the first two. And this is the key information that makes this a lot easier to understand. If we're using two, references, then it's the first two of these align modes. So we can see that these two are the same, O, N. So these will not change. When you go to O, X, 
the X is aligned with the second reference. So we've got the first reference, which is O, the origin, and the second reference, which is X. If we look at our vertex, the first reference is vertex one, the second reference is vertex two. So the O will be aligned with vertex one, or in this case, matched, and the X will be aligned with vertex two, this one here. And you can see that's what exactly has happened. The O has been aligned with this vertex and the X has been aligned with this vertex. Obviously we've got some rotation here if we want to rotate this around this way. So if we go O, X, N, what will happen? Well, we're only interested in the first two because we only got two references. So when I click on it, nothing will happen. O, X, Y, the O is the origin and the Y will come round and point to vertex two, which is the reference two. Then you can see the reference two up here. And you can see the Y now is pointing to there. And the same with the bottom one because we're only interested in the first two because we only got two references. So remembering that we've only got two references, so we're only interested in the first two of these alignments, makes our job a lot easier. Let's put a third reference in here. So reference three, click it, say it's saying selecting, and we'll select reference three now. You notice the X swung around this way, but it's not pointing to reference three. The reason because is because it's impossible to point X to reference three, because the Y is pointing to reference two. So vertex here, you can see sketch vertex two, this one here, which is the second, blue it down, origin, Y. So the first two will take presence over the last. If I swap these, let's take out vertex two and make that three and change vertex three to two and pick the line OYX. You can now see that the Y is pointing to the second reference, which is vertex three, this one here. And the X is pointing in the general direction of vertex two, the third reference, which is this one here. So when we go into three, we're looking at O normal X. So O normal to sketch is going to the second reference, vertex three, and the X is in the general direction of the third reference, vertex two. Let's change these back so it's easier to understand. And pick O and X. So O is the origin, N is normal to sketch or normal to object. I'll be running this way. And X is in the general direction of vertex three. And we can see these as we move through the different alignment modes. So O, X, Y, the X points to reference two, which is vertex two, this one here, and the Y points in the general direction of reference three, which is vertex three. If I okay that now and come into the base sketch, well, let's first attach the shape string to make sure it's attached to our vertex and the same with this one because we're going to move those vertices in a minute. It's got translate origin. So now when we come into our base sketch and if we look at what we've got, we've got the X here pointing to reference two. We come in and we want our base sketch and we move reference two, say down here and close it. We can see how the X has moved and the Y is still in the general direction of three. So if we move three and bring this over to say here and close, then you can see three is here. 
So this is working in 2D space. Obviously, this will be the same in 3D space. If this point was actually in another sketch and we moved it along, say, along the z-axis, then y will change and point in the general direction of 3 along that z. So I hope that's helped with the ONX, ONY, etc. We're going to be using these attachment modes in our next learning FreeCAD series, where we're going to be looking at some more surface modeling and being able to control the surfaces with these type of attachments. We're also going to be learning how to attach those without using this map mode and using basic selection. Hope you enjoyed that video and I hope to see you again soon. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the site. I also have a Ko-Fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire. And that's at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0. I also run a Patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content. And that's at www.patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Any money that's kindly donated will be used to expand the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing and I'll see you again soon.